Yeah. Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. I wasn't going to vlog going this to weekend. Go yes, I think we're gonna go swimming today, baby. We just have to wait for grandma to wake up. Okay, and then we'll call her. Um, I wasn't going to vlog this weekend just because we really didn't have too Are we much going, going on. Today, mom. Today, yes, later on. Um, yesterday was actually super crappy and it was pouring rain all day and I did not feel good at all yesterday I don't know what hit me, but my stomach was not right So I did not feel good for the majority of the day yesterday And then we did go to the boy's cousin's house last night to celebrate his cousin's birthday She turned six, which is so mind-blowing because I've been with Harris since before she was born And I've basically seen her grow up until six now and it's just so crazy that she's six years old. So we went and did that last night and celebrated her birthday with all of his family. And then today waking up, I don't really have too much going on. And I was contemplating whether or not to vlog. And I decided I'm just going to pick up the camera and see what kind of footage I can get for today. And even if it's a short little vlog, I'm sure you guys will appreciate whatever I'm able to get up. Oh, yeah, an orange car over there. So it is actually 8.30 in the morning. The boys slept until 7.45 today, I think because they were absolutely exhausted. We did go ahead and drop naps, which I'm going to give you guys a full update on in Friday's video. But yesterday when we were at their cousin's house, we didn't wind up leaving there until I think after eight. So they went that entire day without napping and they did go to bed pretty late last night and they wrapped out in five minutes flat. And then they went ahead and slept today until 7.45, which was a really nice thing to wake up to. So it is now 8.30. We are clearly at Starbucks. The boys croissant is very hot. So I said, let's let it cool for a minute and I'll go ahead and start my vlog while we wait for it to cool. So we're gonna go home in a minute and eat our breakfast. There are some things I have to do around the house, of course, because it is a weekend and it would not be a weekend without me having a nice list of to-dos and chores to do. And then like I just said to the boys, it is gorgeous out today. All the rain definitely washed away the clouds and it's supposed to be, I think like 75 and sunny today. So I think we're going to go ahead and head over to Harris's parents has to do some swimming today and hang out with them and then we'll kind of just see what else the day holds so we're gonna head home now when we get home i'll kind of show you guys what i have to get into this morning and we'll go ahead and jump into that okay excuse the sound of the boys ipads in the background they insisted on bringing them up here and sitting with me while i did this but i wanted to show you guys what i have to do so all of this stuff has been taken out of the hall closet that we have up here hold on i'll show you guys okay so we had the like repairmen come out for our air conditioning unit our central air just to do like maintenance on it and we didn't live here when we got it installed so i had no idea where any of the parts for it were installed i had no idea we even had an attic and apparently we have a door in this hall closet that leads to an attic that is where our air conditioning unit was installed so um when he came out here last week and found it he took all the shelves out and took everything out of this closet here obviously so he could get into the attic so everything has just been sitting in this back room here so i need to go ahead and put all the shelves back in and put everything back in you want me to open this and put everything back into this closet and organize it and then i do want to go ahead and put away all of these clothes that we got in from harris's mom these i shared in last week's weekend vlog and then we did get a few more things yesterday that i'll go ahead and show you guys when i'm done with the closet and then in here are also some new crocs that need to be decorated with some new gibbets so that is what's on my to-do list for this morning but i'm going to start with this closet here i feel like he broke this climbing into it which kind of sucks i had no idea this is even here and i don't even want to open it because i don't even want to know what it looks like in there because i am afraid of attics so we're just gonna pretend that this isn't back here and we're gonna put everything away okay setting you guys up here so hopefully you guys can see what i'm doing and i'm gonna go ahead and clean all this stuff up what is wrong with my phone right now hello okay can you see i think so maybe let me see. How do you All right, I think this is better, right? Better angle? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so I have extra arts and crafts stuff and then just bathroom cleaner up here so that the boys can't access it under there or down here. Um, these are beach towels. These are their camp bags from last year. Extra bathing suits, extra towels, extra sheets, and then just some um, random stuff. I want to hang all these clothes up first, baby. We gotta hang it up and then we gotta decorate your Crocs. Okay, now that that's done, come in here so we can close this so that they can't hit the TV. Now that that's done, I want to show you guys what else Harris's mom picked up for the boys and then their new Crocs and gibbets. We love Crocs. I stand by Crocs for toddlers in the summer. They are so easy to slip on and off and wear to the beach and wear to the pool. These are yours from yesterday. Hello. Hello. So from Bloomingdale's from the brand the Splendid. We used to have a bunch of Splendid when they were a lot younger. They're really great for basics. She got two of these baseball tees in a size three for like a chilly day with like shorts in the summer. These are super lightweight and thin. So they're like the perfect summer long sleeve um, and they're very soft. So we got two of these. She then picked up two bathing suits, like I mentioned in our last weekend vlog. The boys are in between sizes for a lot of their shorts and swimwear. So they're wearing 18 to 24 month or some two swimwear because all of their three swimwear is way too big on them. Um, we found a coin. Mm -hmm. She got these from, it says Primark. I don't even know we sold Primark in New York. Um, in a size two to three years, so they'll fit throughout this summer into next summer. And these, the waist doesn't look big. That's the issue with the threes that we have from Blue Rooster, I think it's called. Blue Head, Blue Chicken, Blue Rooster, something like that. The waists are too big. These seem like the waist is going to fit good. It might be a little bit long, but still a better fit than the ones they tried on last year. So we got um, a blue tie-dye and a floral. You found a coin wear. On the floor? Yeah. She then picked up some of these denim shorts in the size two to three years. Um, it says Primark again, but it also says denim co. Um, so two to three years again. These do look a little bit big. We will probably fit them better next year. She also got these denim joggers, which I really like. These will definitely fit them in the fall. It seems like, again, a size two to three a light wash and a dark wash and they have like the scrunch ankle and a drawstring waist which will help them fit better but these do look like they'll fit closer to the fall and then she picked up just a plain black and gray pair of crocs we have a green tie-dye a blue tie-dye no white tie-dye crocs that my mom actually got the boys last year for their birthday but the size that i got was completely wrong it was way too big so we saved them for this year and they do fit the boys for size eight in crocs so just for a second pair to have, his mom picked up a plain black and a plain gray, but she got a bunch of, she also got a pack of socks. She got a bunch of gibbets for them so we can decorate the rock. So she got this pack of one, two, three, four, five Spider-Man gibbets. And then in this box we have, whoa, we have a Superman gibbet. We have a Batman, I think she got all like superhero Marvel themes. So she got a Batman gibbet. She got, oh, another BMJ so I can label their Crocs for them. Their Crocs downstairs both have a B and a J on it. She got the Marvel logo. She also picked up this one, which I'm not familiar with. Well, what that? Let me know down below if you know what, what Marvel that? character this is. Does it say? Well, what that? Uh, Black Panther. These are the gibbets for your new Crocs. And then she got a Captain America symbol. So we need to divvy these up, boys, and we can decorate your Crocs. I'll show you guys what we have, and you guys can tell me what ones you want. You want gray, right? Gray for Benny. Black for Jackie. What do you have? These are all your gibbets. I'll show you what we got. Can I, can I just... Yeah, that's a J for you. Here's a B for Ben. Hold your B. And then here, why don't we do these ones for Benny and these ones for Jackie. And then you could pick a Spider-Man. Which Spider-Man? You want the hand? You want this hand or his face? 
His face? On his face? All right, mommy needs to open this and then I'll decorate your Crocs. Let's see. Oh, no, I broke it. Dang it. All right, let mommy open this the right way. You can do the hand, okay? All right, let me open these, get their Crocs decorated so that they have something to play with and then I'll go ahead and hang all this stuff up. Okay, so these are Benny's done. Now I've seen people on TikTok say that they can never get the gibbets into their toddler's shoes. I can think I wear they... them on. Yeah, you want to try them on? I want to do them on. Oh, you want to slip it like that? Um. I've been putting gibbets. No, this foot. Um. I've been putting gibbets on the boys' Crocs since they were like a size five, since the Crocs were super small. And it just takes a lot of pressure. I did try one year like taking a butter knife and stabbing it to kind of make the hole bigger when they were super small. These are size eight, like I said. So it's a little bit easier to get them in now. I feel like even in adult Crocs, the holes are all like the same size. So it's like an equal level of difficulty, but you really need to just use a lot of pressure. I also take the corner. Here's my gibbets tutorial for you guys. I take the corner of the gibbet. I put my finger in, let's see, where do I want to put this one? in the hole that I want to use. So like I'm going to use this hole and I kind of stretch it out a little bit and I dig the one corner of the gibbet in and then you just press a lot. You kind of use your finger underneath to feel around and make sure the gibbet is in the hole. And just like that, you have another pair of decorated Crocs. So Jack picked Jay, um, Batman, Black Panther, and Superman. And then like I showed you, Babs. He's got um, Spider-Man, a bee, Marvel, and Captain America. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hang all of this stuff up and we'll be done with this. Right and then um, we'll get ready to go to right Harris's parents' house. Okay, we are all dressed and ready. I threw on just a romper because they're so easy to throw on and wear to the house. And then I did throw on my little croc slides that I got a few years ago so that I could match with the boys. And I'm throwing in bathing suits into my bag. It's a little bit chilly. It's like 61 or 62 degrees right now. So if it winds up warming up, we'll go swimming. But if not, um, the boys have regular clothes on and I'll just pack these just in case. So these are from last year from Munster for the boys. Um, there's no size on these. I'm pretty sure these are 18 to 24 months or two. And then this is just a one piece from Forever 21 that I got a while ago. That's like a go-to basic bathing suit of mine to throw on. So all of this I need to throw in the diaper bag. Harris took the boys out for me. Um, they're playing outside so that I could throw together the diaper bag. So I'm going to throw these in and then we can head out. All right, guys, it is a lot later now. It's actually it's almost more, bedtime. It is good. 6 o'clock. The boys are in the bath. We wound up going to Harris's parents' house. And, of course, well, actually, we weren't going to swim. It was pretty chilly when we first got there. It was only, like, 61 degrees. But towards the end of us being there, it was so hot and the sun was so strong. So we decided to go in the pool for an hour. Gonna, and then after that, go we in, left. Mom. You're going to put them in? We you're left. Gonna, came home. Mom. Relaxed on the couch. Go. Um, I threw some laundry in, I mopped the floor, I did all of my like last few cleaning things that I had on my list today, things that you guys have seen before so I didn't feel like picking up my camera and boring you with that stuff, but it is a lot later now and the boys are in the bath and after this I'm going to take a much needed shower and wash my hair. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close down today's vlog. I knew today's vlog was going to be a bit on the shorter side just because I wasn't gonna vlog and then I decided last minute to vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy whatever you saw this morning of us. Tomorrow I am vlogging a full date with us and in that video I'm going to be giving you guys a full update on how we dropped their nap and how that went for us. It's been about a week and... And I get three things like a week and a half since we, what baby? I get you a brick doll. You made it fresh? A brick doll. I don't know what you're saying, baby. I made a brick doll. I made a brick doll, mom. Pretzel? 
So it's been about a week and a half since we did that and I think the transition's gone really, really well and just smoothly and it's been an adjustment for me. You guys will hear more about this in that video. Um, but I think we are officially done with the whole nap dropping situation. So um, that'll be tomorrow's video or that'll be Friday's video. I'm filming it tomorrow. Um, and we're also going back to the ENT tomorrow, so I'll give you guys more updates on how the boys' ear inspection slash ear situation, um, how that's been going for us. Right here, baby. So, yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this. I am tired today. I'm going to go ahead and end off today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever I did get this morning. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.